Okay, this is just a short overview of what uh, I do for testing. And this is generally uh, the type of case and uh, equipment that I receive whenever I do any type of testing. Now these are just going to be two pumps for this test. And as with all things, uh, the paperwork comes in marked. And in this case, we will be doing a general welding uh, fume profile on uh, one and this is the case and the cartridge this is what we call blank and I open that blank up on both ends on these little tabs here while I'm pre presenting the uh, other t cartridge and then of course uh, this is the CR6 analysis which is what they call hexavalent chromium and there's another blank cartridge here and as you can see I got extra tabs to close it off just like the other one but I open this one up while I'm preparing the actual pumps. Now these are pumps, these are SKC pumps and they are all marked with what they're going to do by the laboratory. In this case this one has got the blue tape on it that says welding fume profile and it's a test number one along with the serial number of the actual SKC pump. Now the pump is set and metered at certain uh, liters per minute and uh, what it does is they calibrate it before they give it to me and then right after they're done they recalibrate it to ensure that the pump was running at the optimum amount of air that was to be sucked through this cartridge. Now what I do with this cartridge is I clip it on to the uh, employee and it's usually hung over the shoulder and it hangs down like this over the shoulder and near their breathing area and this cap is taken off at the start and then when I'm done I put this cap back on and remove the hose from it and put the other cap that's in the package on it then I put a tag on it that comes in with the paperwork the same thing for this one this of course is also marked and this one is a CR6 which is a hexavalent chromium and this is the cartridge that it will and I take the cap off of this one now these run for about eight hours or whatever time frame you want but I usually do 480 minutes and I mark down the time I start and the time I end then turn the pump off take the cartridge off and then cap it and then I send it to the lab this starts out as a white color and generally depending on how much fume there is when the process is going it'll turn either to a tan or a brown or a dark brown or even in some cases I've had happen a dark black. Now color of the cartridge themselves and the, then being black does not necessarily indicate that the test has been uh, very bad. Uh, it has to undergo laboratory analysis and once that laboratory analysis is finished then I can uh, get the results go through the OSHA PELs, see whether or not their micrograms per cubic meter of air has measured to below the standard or is above. And if it is above, then we'll have to redo testing, but we got to fix the ventilation systems first and then proceed on. But this is essentially what the kits contain, is the paperwork which I'll be doing, and then of course the pumps, and then I just take the test and do it for eight hours.